for joining me today. In this video segment, we're going to go over a couple of tips that you can use when you're adding clip art or images to your Google Slideshow. Now, I have this demo slideshow that I'm using here, and it's on amphibians. And one of the things that I want to do with this picture is I want to crop it just a little bit and add a border. So if you're not familiar with these tools, uh, it's very similar to what you'd find in PowerPoint, but if you click on your picture, you'll notice that you have this series of image tools that will open up at the top. Uh, first, I want to address the image options. If you look at the image options, you do have the option of recoloring the image. Maybe you want it to be like right, right here, for instance. My theme for my Google Slideshow is sort of a monochromatic black and white. So if I wanted to change this picture to fit that, I could do that if I wanted to. Um, if I don't want to recolor it, I can always go back and hit no recolor. You can also set a level of transparency if you want this picture to be a little bit transparent, or you can also change the brightness and contrast of the picture. And of course, if you change your mind, you can always go to the bottom and hit reset adjustments. Also, here at the top, you have a reset button. If you mess up or you've done something like cropped it and changed it and added a border and you just want to go back to the start, you also have a reset image button here. But to address specifically what I'm talking about at the beginning of this video is uh, you do always have the option to crop an image. Say for instance you just want it to be a little bit smaller so that it fits on the page and doesn't interfere with your text. And I can bring this in and draw it in so that all we've got here is just this little guy. And then of course once you've got your cropping done you just click outside of the picture and it, and it takes away everything else that you've that you've cropped out of the image. That is one option. Uh, the other option, I'm going to reset the image to show you this one, is to take this image and instead of cropping it, if you look next to the crop image tool there is a drop down menu where you can mask the image. Now with masking you have the option of changing this square border that we're looking at right here to any of these shapes in this list or arrows if we wanted to. For instance, say, call attention to the text, I could change it to an arrow shape. I'm going to use that to give you an example of what it looked like. So I click on the left arrow and now it changes our little frog to an arrow instead of a square image. Now as you can see here, in the process of making that arrow, it's cut off some of his head. So I can go over here to these, these tools these yellow handles and I can change the shape of the arrow a little bit so it looks a little bit better. And then of course if I wanted to go over here I could add a little bit of a border to it and that makes it look a little bit better on the page. Now if you wanted to play around with some of these there's tons of little shapes that you can apply. You can use callouts as well um, you know if you wanted to change it up uh, or you know like maybe make him a little cloud for instance. So lots of little tools that you can use and this just adds a little bit of flavor to your slideshow makes it a little bit more interesting so I hope that helps